What's up guys? Welcome to the ATL. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia here at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. This is almost pretty much three quarters way through our season. It's almost done. We only have two stops after this, so I got to make this weekend count. Thank you guys also for letting me hit 1,000 subscribers. I can't believe we already hit 1,000 within two months, so much appreciated. And let's see where we can grow this within the next six months to a year. I think it's going to be huge. And practice went great yesterday. I got John Zimmer first round. I think we can take him out. Don't tell him that, but I think we can take him out. And I think we're going to have a great weekend here, honestly. I've always liked coming to Atlanta. Always a great crowd here. And I think we got the truck turned around. I didn't have a wrenching video this weekend. We really just didn't have that much to video or wrench on. The truck was pretty much set, so just did some tightening of bolts and things like that and put her back in the trailer. And I think we're ready to go for the weekend. So I'm going to head down. We got about three hours until doors start here for a pit party and just get down there and check some things out and get the truck clean. And let's get to it, guys. We're on NBC again. More time in front of the camera. Let's do it. Orange is looking sharp, dude. You know, we love it. Hardy Chevrolet, they rocked it out. We never seen the body till Thursday morning. We put it on the chassis. John Gordon's family, can't ask for any better people than this, so we are gonna burn it to the ground here for them. It's looking good, dude. I wanna see that body in pieces by the end of the weekend. It will be, trust me. <laughs> All right, have fun, man. Thank you. <laughs> We're crossing streams. <laughs> Pit party is open, guys. We're gonna head over to my truck, have some fun for the next three hours. Meet these great Monster Jam fans and uh, get a smile on our face, get the blood flowing, and I uh, can't wait to kick it off here tonight here in Atlanta. We're gonna have some fun, guys. I'll catch you after the pit party. Peace. Coming up here for a driver interview. Let's see if we can go talk to the crowd a little bit. Have some fun. Are you guys drivers? No, sir. You're not drivers? No, no, no. I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, I bought this I bought this online. It's a really cool monster monster jam fire suit. And you guys are some serious yeah, fans, man. I got this at Goodwill. Awesome. I got it on Target, it was on sale. <laughs> Oh my God, it's Todd LaDuke. You're right in the middle of our interview. It's Todd it's LaDuke. It's, it's the announcer girl. <laughs> ow, <laughs> ow. So we just finished up our pre-show interviews. We got about 15, 10 minutes until showtime. We're gonna head down, get strapped in and do this thing. Let's do it. We did a four person Ooh, interview. Two drivers, two hosts, we killed it. It's time for more Monster Dam Atlanta. We hope you're ready. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ready to go. I'm gonna show time. Gonna get my stuff on, get strapped in. We're gonna have some fun here in the ATL. Let's get it on. Yeah, you're gonna have to pull the shock down. It needs to be where it was before, though. 
I'll ahead. do it. Don't worry. Yeah, I know what to do. We're gonna pull this shot completely apart. All right, so we just won racing. As you see, the shocks and the shock came off on the last jump, the very last jump against Corey Rumble. Good job, Corey. By the way, I wouldn't want to be in the finals with anybody else. Good job, buddy. But we pulled off the win, got the final round of racing win, took the overall, and now the shock flew apart. So what we got to do is pull the shock all the way apart and rebuild it. I'm going to go out and do two wheel skills with one shock on the right front corner. And I'm going to turn the valve all the way off to make it stiff to make up for that missing shock. So as they get this rebuilt, we're going to bring it back here for intermission, and I'll have two shocks one to go freestyle. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a bit. So two wheel just wrapped up. I went out. I went out last because we won racing, and it goes in the order that you finish. So I was up on the front two wheels, and it shut off. I got up on the front two to start balancing it to ride it out, and the truck shut off. I think because it was too hot, because we did so much racing, and I'm not running any water in the engine. It shut off, and I tried a second one, and it just didn't work out. Kind of pissed me off, but that's okay. <laughs> we got through it. We got through racing. We won racing. I'm happy with that. We go out fifth in freestyle. And it's gonna go out and give it hell and do the best we can and try to have some fun. So they're getting the shock back on, everything's refueled, and we're ready to go. Let's do it. So that's a wrap, first night here in Atlanta. It went well. We took home the racing champion again. I gotta thank Rico. He came over from Matt Cody's team from the Triple Threat to give us a hand here tonight in Atlanta. Thanks to Marty, everybody's crew. Got in, we fixed the shot, came back out for two wheel. Two wheel didn't go that good. We did a pretty decent freestyle, but you know what? I'm happy we got that racing win. Two racing wins this season. I'm happy. Thanks, guys. Daniel behind the camera. Thank you, too, man. We're out. We got tomorrow, not yet. Peace. So we're shortening the hood because every time I do a two wheel skill on the nose, the hood is dragging the ground. So we're going to shorten it a little bit and bring that grill back towards the truck a little bit. That way when I get up on the nose pretty deep, it doesn't always mess the hood up because tonight in freestyle, I jumped and clipped the back and brought, the, brought it up into a fast uh, nose wheelie and it threw the hood up into my vision. So the rest of my freestyle, I really couldn't see anything. So we're going to shorten that up and that's going to help a lot. So I got my first round racing nemesis right here. How y'all doing? Mr. I'm, Mr. John Zimmer. I'm gonna say something. So Mikey has had like the biggest up and down year. And there's no doubt I am a Mikey Botters fan. I love watching him drive. He takes me out first round, like really? Best part is he wins all the races. Proud of him. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Good job tonight. Thank you. Have fun, Rigo? Oh yeah, all the time. Have a good time? All the time. Make it much better than this. Oh yeah. All right, the hood's back on, everything's ready to go for tomorrow. They're just gonna move the truck back in. Catch you tomorrow, dude. Later. All right, man, we're gonna head back to the hotel, maybe grab some bite to eat. And day one's in the books here in Atlanta, so it was a good first night, one racing, and hopefully have a good time tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. Peace! Good morning guys, it is a beautiful day here in Atlanta, Georgia. It is 9.30 in the morning. We are heading back to the stadium. Late night, early morning. Last, last night felt great in racing, had a great night. Freestyle, the hood flopped up in my face, I couldn't really see, but today is gonna change. I'm gonna try to take that racing win again and do a good freestyle and definitely get a good two wheel skill. The truck will not shut off today and we're gonna do good in that. So we gotta head back to the stadium, get the truck ready for a pit party, wipe it down. And we have to do an interview for NBC to recap last night, and today I think is when they are filming. So get back, we're having a great day, I can't wait, have some fun, meet some more great Monster Jam fans, and let's do this again. I'll catch you at the stadium.
guys working hard? Hardly working. Working harder than you, you are right now. Last night with that uh, hydraulic hose. Man, he did. He melt a hydraulic line. <laughs> like, Corey Rommel breaks everything in the world and fixes it in four minutes and then one hydraulic line all night. Took you all night. You had to shut it down, too. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> sometimes you just can't hold on to that wrench and drop it, and sometimes you just can't find a stupid wrench. <laughs> The pit party here on the second day is kicked off. But first off, I want to thank Kevin Talbot, or Talbot, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. But thank you, man, for giving me the shout out on your channel. I really appreciate that. And thank you to all of his subscribers, your subscribers, for crossing over to my channel. And we're going to have some fun here, I promise you that. We run this truck hard and we fix it hard. So we're going to get to work, get pit party kicked off, and have some fun. And I'll catch you guys after pit party. One day at a time, one pound of pressure. Trucks are parked, pit party's done, now everything's lined up. We're getting ready to go out and do our free show interviews. So I have to go clear up there on the other side of the stadium to do my free show interview and get that going. Then uh, there's gonna do some final details on the truck. And we're gonna get this going here on the second day of Atlanta. Getting pumped, getting excited, so let's have some fun guys. Just finished up pre-show interview, and now I'm running to go get my helmet, and jump in my truck, and then we're gonna start this show off. So let's go get this helmet. We do a pre-show interview, and they put us all the way to the other side of the stadium, and we only have five minutes to go, so I gotta run. Get my helmet, catch my breath. We're gonna have fun again. Day two, Atlanta. Let's do it, baby. Over. Weekend's done. I had an issue with my transmission. I lost first gear, so now we got the transmission out of the truck. And we're getting the uh, torque converter tour apart and cleaning that up. So what exactly does this do? Well, the, the transmission actually pumps fluid through the, uh, the hub of the converter, which goes in here, which goes in here, and multiplies torque with more RPM and then spins this faster. So we're gonna get that put back together, get everything ready and take out and do load out, get everything in the trailer. We had a good day today. We got uh, semifinals and racing. Todd LaDuke took me out. <laughs> it's like being this thing with Todd LaDuke going on this year. And two wheel skill, I got second to Todd LaDuke. And freestyle, I had that shock flew off, flew off in the front. So uh, that shut me down after like four or five hits. So that didn't go as planned. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the weekend. Just a little hard on myself because I want to win. If I'm out there running, I'm out to win. Second place doesn't mean anything to me. So other than that, I can't complain. And we're gonna head to Jacksonville next weekend. So also I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers we're over a thousand now i appreciate all of you guys keep watching we're going to keep putting this out and we're going to get things loaded up and head down the road and we'll see you in jacksonville next week peace guys